The series House of the Dragon is set nearly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, and tells the story of the Targaryen Civil War and the course of events that took place preliminarily. The fans of Game of Thrones love the series and are eager for a second season. Today we're going to discuss what the show is about and everything related to it, along with the behind the scenes of season 1, so let's dive into the video, shall we? What is House of the Dragon based on? It's no secret that the Targaryens rose to power because they possessed dragons. For generations, their dynasty had ruled. House of the Dragon will depict House Targaryen's fall and the events leading up to the family's civil war known as the Dance of Dragons. The civil war began due to disagreements over who will succeed King Viserys I Targaryen after his death. Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, his firstborn, expects to be the first queen to sit on the Iron Throne. Millie Alcock will play the younger version of the Princess Rhaenyra, while Emma D'Arcy will play the older version. Her uncle, Prince Daemon Targaryen, is the presumptive heir, planning to become king until it is announced that Princess Rhaenyra will take the throne instead due to her birthright. Both Rhaenyra and Daemon are skilled dragon riders, as Daenerys and Jon Snow have learned in Game of Thrones. This gave them a significant advantage until the Night King killed one of the three dragons, Viserion, and turned him into an undead ice dragon. Without spoiling the outcome of the Dance of Dragons, one thing is certain, the Civil War marks the beginning of the slow destruction of the Targaryen dynasty down to the Mad King and eventually the Mad Queen, Daenerys. How has House of the Dragon been a massive success on HBO Max? The massive practical sets and props of the show are visible. After Game of Thrones concluded in 2019, HBO quickly launched several spin-offs. House of the Dragon, a prequel set hundreds of years before the events of Game of Thrones, was one of the projects given the go-ahead. The series tells the story of the bloody Targaryen civil war in a very different version of Westeros. What do fans gather from behind the scenes of House of the Dragon? A behind the scenes video titled Returning to Westeros teased the scale of the show which revealed that many of the House of the Dragon's large castle sets, including King's Landing, were built practically. Not only that, but the video also discusses the show's costumes and props, which all have intricate detail and are painstakingly handcrafted. As much as fans wish Westeros had more dragons and less misogyny on screen, House of the Dragon deserves credit for actively working to ensure that Game of Thrones behind the scenes horror stories does not occur on their set, and that the actors feel empowered to do their jobs well. Where did the House of Dragon get filmed? Northern Ireland, Scotland, Malta, Croatia, Iceland, and Spain were among the exotic and frozen filming locations used for Game of Thrones. The iconic exterior shots of King's Landing were shot in Medina, Malta's northernmost city. House of the Dragon, the new prequel series, has filming locations in Cornwall, England, as well as Spain and Portugal. This is the first production to shoot at Warner Brothers' Leavensden Studios' newest virtual production stage, and it took all necessary precautions in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Why was an intimacy coordinator needed behind the scenes of the show? According to interviews with several other Game of Thrones actors, an intimacy coordinator would have been a much needed addition to the set. Gemma Whalen, who played Yara Greyjoy in Game of Thrones, spoke about how chaotic filming sex scenes for the show was. While the actors would frequently check in with each other between takes, their instructions were essentially, when we shout action, go for it. However, with an intimacy coordinator, intimate scenes are choreographed ahead of time, much like an action sequence, so that consent and boundaries can be established before filming begins. While Whalen does does not explicitly discuss a time when she felt completely unsafe, Tomzin Merchant and Amelia Clark have both spoken about feeling pressured as young actors to perform intimate scenes that were outside their comfort zone. Tamsin Merchant was cast as Daenerys Targaryen in the Game of Thrones pilot before Clark was cast, and she spoke to Entertainment Weekly about her brief time on the show. While signing her contract, Merchant attempted to back out of some intimate scenes she was uncomfortable with, but was talked back into it by some persuasive people. People. She describes her filming experience in Morocco as naked and afraid. In all of these scenarios, actors Emily Carey and Millie Alcock are better protected behind the scenes than their on-screen counterparts. Carey and Alcock have more support on set than their fellow Game of Thrones actors thanks to Kilner and the Intimacy Coordinator, which is a significant step forward for the franchise. More than any spontaneity, protecting young actors and making them feel safe will allow for better performances. What does the show's director plan on doing. Director and co-showrunner Miguel Sapochnik is done after season one. After three years of planning and production, Miguel Sapochnik is exhausted. He will play a smaller role in House of the Dragon,
Flanagan, but Alan Taylor will take over as director beginning with the second season. What scenes were cut from the House of the Dragon? The wedding of Alice and Hightower and King Viserys was filmed, but it was cut from the show. There were originally plans for Alice and Viserys' wedding to be included in the show, but it was cut short due to time constraints. This means that there is a scene in which Alicent wears a beautiful wedding gown and a tiara, and her hair is done. How did the plots end on the show for the characters? The conflict is between the Blacks, led by Rhaenyra, King Viserys' only surviving child from his first marriage, and the Greens, led by Viserys' second wife, Alicent Hightower. Others, however, are lurking in the shadow, the most prominent of which is Alicent's ambitious father, Sir Otto. On the other hand, Damon, Viserys' brother, is a bit of a loose cannon. The Rogue Prince, a battle-hardened warrior and dragon rider, has ambitions and appetites to match his larger-than-life personality. Corlys and his wife Rhaenys of the ancient House of Valerian lay claim to the Iron Throne. Rhaenys, King Jaehaerys' granddaughter, was passed over for her younger cousin Viserys because of her gender. With Corlys, Westeros' greatest mariner, and the joining of two ancient houses, the couple is a formidable ally or foe. Moving on to Rhaenyra's mother, Aima, words about a woman's battlefield being the childbed are prophetic, as birth and blood dominate the show. We first see an older Rhaenyra while she's giving birth to her third son. Her marriage to Laenor, son of Corlys and Rhaenys, is purely for practical reasons. They agree to do their duty and then dine as they please on roast duck or goose. When Queen Alicent demands to see if the baby's hair is Targaryen silver, Rhaenyra goes herself, bloodied and sweating, reinforcing the childbed as a battlefield theme. A heavily pregnant Rhaenyra suffers a tragedy after learning of her father's death and the installation of Alicent's son and stepbrother Aegon on the throne. How do fans really find the House of Dragons? The show is filled with forbidden loves that turn to lethal hatred, secrets, spymasters, and inquisitors gorgeous costumes, lush music, and now totally expected invisible CGI are all provided by eye-wateringly good production values. When the dragons take to the skies, they are magnificent and take one's breath away. On land, one can appreciate their awe-inspiring majesty as they cover vast swaths of ground using a joint of their wings as knuckles. What unique way does House of the Dragon bring forward in its stories? The gore levels appear to be low, or fans may have grown accustomed to the random maiming and decapitations that Game of Thrones was famous for. Everyone is interested in the untold stories of history. Septon Eustace and the Grand Maester Munkin provide a dry account of the history of the House Targaryen, while Mushroom, a dwarf and court jester, adds spice and scandal. Mushroom, we can assume, is providing the untold histories Martin mentioned. Mushroom has yet to enter House of the Dragon, and while there is swearing, there isn't much humor. The show has left the Rashomon-style narration to the book and presented a linear history of the Targaryens. Despite the absence of Mushroom, with the House of Dragon renewed for a second season, we can expect more sinewy dragons as well as the machinations of Prince Aemond, whose single sapphire eye sparkles with intelligence and mischief. What information do we have about any deleted behind-the-scenes moments? Fans have been clamoring for deleted scenes since the show first aired. Many scenes were cut from the first season. We know from other interviews and behind-the-scenes looks that several scenes were cut, including a bisexual Daemon, a young Rhaenyra and Alicent, and others that could provide fans with a more in-depth look at the series. And we know there are scenes that can be released because showrunner Ryan Condal revealed a deleted scene a few weeks ago at the Game of Thrones official fan convention. House of the Dragon, the complete first season, on the other hand, contains no deleted scenes. Is House of the Dragon the complete first season behind the scenes worth getting according to fans? At the end of the day, most people do think that it appears to be a money grab. The physical cover of the steel book is admittedly very pretty, so the high price tag is worth it just to own a physical copy than that limited edition form, but the content is extremely disappointing. However, fans say that there is nothing new and watching the featurettes one after the other feels repetitive. With the same clips being cobbled together, it appears that interviews with the cast and creatives were conducted during filming, and a lot of footage has been cut and pasted together. 
after season one of House of the Dragon, will we be able to see a second season to this? With the first season of HBO's Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragon completed, it's time to start counting down the days until season two arrives in 2024. When the show's sophomore season premieres, it will most likely look very different from season one, which used time jumps to trace the history of House Targaryen over nearly 30 years. Let us know in the comments what you think about the House of Dragons, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.